Welcome to Dave's Tech Table. I'm Dave Helmley and I'm excited to show off one of the most requested features that we've had from our users in a long time, and that's Panasonic's P2 formats. With our implementation of Panasonic's format, you're able to ingest, edit, and even export all natively. There's no need to transcode, have AVI wrappers or QuickTime wrappers, just drag it off the card and start editing. It's that simple and it's that great. Now for those of you that are new to Panasonic's format, you probably have heard that it uses memory cards. With this VX200 camera that I've been shooting with this week, uh, it's actually got two cards in the back, uh, two 8 gig cards. I think they come in 4, 8, 16, and there's 32s I heard that are coming out. But basically, when you fill up one card, it automatically starts recording on the second card. It's a beautiful format, and you can certainly read up on it, but there's a lot of people starting to use this, and we've had a lot of people requesting how this works. And one of the things that makes this great is when you're done shooting, all you have to do is attach a standard USB 2 cable directly to the camera, connect it to your PC or Mac, and just start editing. It's that easy. Now with our implementation, we've tried to adhere to as much of the P2 standard as possible, and we think we've done a pretty good job, and we'll have you guys uh, taking a look at it and giving us some feedback. Now with this, um, as I've said before, you've got these memory cards that are here. You can pop them out of the camera when you're done, pick up your laptop, maybe you're on site. You can just plug these directly in the PCMCIA slot directly on here and just start editing. It's that easy. So you just grab your PC laptop and just start editing. Now another format you can use, say you're a Macintosh uh, you know, laptop user and you've got a MacBook Pro, it's obviously got on this particular one a smaller slot size that's here. Well this obviously isn't going to fit. So there's a company called Dual that actually makes an adapter that takes a, uh, an express slot and turns it into a PCMCIA slot and then you can just plug this directly in here and start editing. So if you haven't figured it out already, Premiere Pro actually lets you edit directly off of this card. Again, wouldn't recommend it for you know, high-end editing or you know, things with lots of effects or lots of clips and all that sort of stuff, but for doing rough cuts out in the field, it works great, and you guys are going to get a chance to take a look at that. Let's go ahead and jump on the computer now. For those of you that are new to P2 editing, the first thing you're going to want to do is install the Panasonic P2 driver. This driver will allow for you to mount P2 media on your desktop. So either install the Windows XP Vista driver or the Mac and Tell driver. And it's as simple as any other driver. You're just going to go ahead and follow the prompts. The second thing you're going to want to install is going to be the Panasonic Viewer. This isn't really necessary for Adobe Premiere editing, but it's a nice utility to have, as you'll see soon enough. So just go ahead and install that and follow the prompts. And again, you can get both of these from the Panasonic website. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my P2 camera sitting on my desk. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB 2 cable, and you'll see my media pop right up on the desktop. If you're a Windows user, they'll just become another available volume, much like a memory card on a camera. I'm going to go ahead and just double click on this P2 icon, and inside of there, you'll see that there's a contents folder, and inside the contents folder are several other folders. The folder that's most important for Premiere is the video folder. From the video folder, it'll get all of the other relationships of the other folder, in this case, audio, and it'll tie all that back together when we import it inside of Premiere. So this is all part of the MXF system. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the contents folder and copy it directly over to a local drive. This is going to give me a much better editing experience. You can, in fact, edit directly off of the card with Premiere Pro, but you're going to have a better experience if you drag it to a local drive. Okay, now that the first card is finished copying, uh, we need to copy the contents of the second card. Now, the reason I need to do this is when we were recording our video, it actually ran out of room on the first 8 gig card and started recording automatically on the second 8 gig card. So this is a fairly easy process to get the data over there. All I have to do is just double click on the contents folder of the second card and go ahead and double click on my local drive and then just drop the contents of one folder into the next folder. So if I select all these and then just drag the video uh, from one folder into the next folder, it'll go ahead and add those to those other clips. They're already numbered sequentially, so with the Panasonic MXF system, you don't have to worry about uh, clips that were spanning from one card to the next. Again, during a record session, uh, we were in the middle of a record and it started recording on the second card. That's fine. Premiere will keep track of all that when you bring those things down to the timeline, and you can go ahead and work with those just as you would expect. 
Okay, let's go ahead and launch Premiere. And I'll start a new project. And the first thing you're going to notice is DVC Pro 50 and DVC Pro HD. And I'm going to go ahead and select 1080i, 60i, since that's the mode I was shooting with. I wanted to point out under the load preset panel here where we've got the editing modes listed and some of the information uh, about this. You'll see that it says for editing 1080i MXF material uh, recorded at 60 hertz on a P2. So make sure you pay attention uh, to the description to make sure it's the way that you shot. And then you'll also notice that the frame size is, is 1280 by 1080 and an aspect ratio of 1.5. The aspect ratio is extremely important as you start to work with After Effects in Photoshop. You want to make sure you set your uh, either your effects or extra clips up correctly and that you've got the aspect ratio set up correctly. And then you've got your audio settings uh, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and just name this um, our, our Annapolis Day shot here and go ahead and have Premiere set itself up. Okay, so here, here I am in Premiere. Now all I have to do to get the P2 footage in here is either go to File, Import, or I can double click on the project panel here. And I'll go out to my desktop and look at one of my P2 cards, click on Contents and Video, and go ahead and say Import. And here's my video folder. I'm going to double click on that. And you'll first see that each of these clips is video and audio. So even though I just clicked on the video folder, uh, Premiere will automatically see the MXF data and combine all the audio with it. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look and see what else we've got. If I click on one of these clips, I'll click on 03, and I'll right mouse uh, click and go to Properties. Here's all the metadata that's captured with the MXF data. And you'll see we've got things like serial number of the camera, the model number of the camera, uh, the name of the shooter in place. And a lot of these things can be set up in the P2 viewer or they can be set up in the camera ahead of time uh, on the P2 card and in the preferences of the camera. So this is just some great information that all comes over with the clip and you can use it uh, you know, later on when you're using your clips. Now another thing you can do is you can go ahead and use the icon view and I'm going to go over here to clean up so it spreads those out a little bit for me so I can sort of see what I've got going on. Here's all of my clips that I can go ahead and start to storyboard in this mode and you know you can move these clips around as necessary and switch them around it's like they're slides. But the most important thing uh, is is you can click on any of these and play them back. So I can just look at this information and say, okay, that's the right clip that I need. Uh, you can just, of course, just go ahead and scrub it. I can go ahead and, and reassign the thumbnail if I need to, and that becomes the new thumbnail here. Just really, really nice. So it's almost like having your own little mini viewer directly inside of Premiere Pro, so you can know exactly what's going on. And one of the things that's really nice, if you haven't caught on already, is I didn't have to convert any of this stuff. I just said import it. It came directly into the project bin, and I'm starting to work with the footage. I don't have to worry about intermediate codecs. I don't have to worry about it adding extra wrappers or anything around during the capture process. This is just straight MXF and straight to editing. Just a beautiful thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and just grab this folder, drag it down to the timeline, and I can just start to edit. Now what's really important important to point out here is I'm editing directly from a P2 card. You know, there, I don't have to copy this to my hard drive just to start working on a rough cut. Now I will point out that I don't think editing on a P2 card, you know, for your entire project is a great idea. You're going to want to put multiple layers of video and transitions and stack on um, titles and all the typical things you want to do. And uh, while Premiere doesn't care where the media sits, it's just a good idea uh, to edit on your uh, on your local drive or on a RAID or something like that. So I just want to point that out. But I do think it's very cool that I can go ahead and perform, uh, you know, rough edit and get a lot of work done and then move that directly over to my, uh, to my hard drive. So just wanted to point that out that editing directly on the card is just a great thing. And I'll go ahead and just play back a few seconds of this for you so you can kind of see uh, that you're getting full frame rate, beautiful preview, all directly from the P2 card. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and just close this project out and let's work with some footage directly off of uh, that G-RAID hard drive that's local. And I'll go ahead and just import this footage directly